So next up, Paul Joseph Watson, one of the worst human beings on the face of the planet. You know, I've been watching Paul Joseph Watson, listen to him, reading his articles for over 20 years now. Most people don't realize that Paul Joseph Watson is nearly 40 years old. He has been working on the internet, been working for Alex Jones on the internet for over, I think it's right at 20 years now. I don't know if it's over 20 years, but it's right at 20 years now. He is one of the leading disseminators of false information in the history of the internet. And uh, recently, he went public and started shitting on people that wear masks out in public. Brainiac Paul Joseph Watson, unless you're actually at risk from COVID. If you're wearing a mask, you're doing it for clout. That's right, folks. You fucking mask wearers, you're just doing it to get attention. You virtue signalers. Try to make people think you're a good people by not killing their grandmother. And to feel better than everyone else. Yeah, you pieces of shit wearing your mask so you don't spread fucking disease to other people. We see right through you. <laughs> it actually says that. I see right through you. Stop being a twat. Yeah. And like Paul just Watson, you guys are twats. Like seriously, if you're that paranoid, don't leave your fucking house like Paul just Watson doesn't. What's the last thing you think Paul just Watson left his mom's basement? I don't know. Been a while, I imagine. Oh, look at me. I'm a ban the law. And you need to see that I am. Fuck off, you insufferable cog. <sighs> God damn it, Paul Joseph Watson. Like, dude, you don't wear the mask because you're at risk from COVID. You wear the mask because you don't know if you have it, because you can be asymptomatic when you have it, and you don't want to spread it to other people and kill their grandparents and their children and immunocompromised people. You do it because you're a decent person. Who not only wants to help your fellow human being, you want to help the economy. But I have people get sick and miss work because of your stupid bullshit. Horrible, horrible human being. And uh, this comes from the guy who says there's hidden messages in the new $100 bill. A video blogger claims that there are hidden messages in the new $100 bill which warn of future nuclear devastation in the United States. True story, folks. Also, Podgers Watson hates conspiracy theories. Never forget, folks. Never forget. But anyway... Then uh, him and uh, Pierce Morgan had a knockdown, drag out fight. Okay, it was kind of one way, to be honest with you. He sort of had a meltdown, is what it was, if I'm going to describe it accurately. Apparently, Pierce uh, Morgan blocked Paul Joseph Watson. I don't know why. I'm sure Paul Joseph Watson probably said something about Pierce, uh, Pierce Morgan's recent uh, shitting on Donald Trump. And so Paul Joseph Watson can't have that because he's like, uh, like a tick that's permanently connected uh, to the underside of Donald Trump's nutsack. Just sucking that blood, just like you would expect a fucking pathetic tick boy to do. And so anyway, Pierce Morgan blocked him, and he freaked the fuck out, man. He did not take it well. He went on a Twitter meltdown, and he said the following, Cowardly little bitch! Afraid of the fact that I'm more popular and definitely more attractive than you? Mercenary twat! Debate me. You yellow belly crusted boomer sell out frog cuck like a dickhead. That's a lot of insults right in a row. He hitting all the notes. And then he went on to say, I know that you actually envy me because you're a pathetic, inauthentic little bitch. And I'm significantly younger and more handsome and more intelligent than you. Can you tell he's a Trump supporter, folks? This is what insecure people do all the time continuously brag on themselves. I would never brag on myself. You know why? Because I'm too humble. I'm way too humble to constantly brag on myself. Too humble and too sexy. When you're sexy as I am, you don't have to continuously brag on how sexy and humble you are. Okay? Just, just put that out there. Why did you block me before sending this tweet? Pussy! Did I rattle your little world? You fraudulent cowardly tosser! Not taking it well, folks. Can you imagine having this reaction about getting blocked from somebody? Good goddamn, y'all. Then he went on and say he didn't stop. Because he's not mad, folks. He's not mad at all. He's not taking this too seriously in any way. Also, you're a fucking coward. And you won't respond to this tweet. But he's blocked, so... Uh, even though I get way more traction than you, despite having ten times more followers. Because I'm younger and more attractive. He's so good looking. So good looking, Paul Just Watson. And you're a sellout little bitch who needs to repent for your limitless cringe. I'm just going to say, like, uh, though I have problems with uh, Hassan, Hassan Piker, uh, like, Paul Joseph Watson is like the poor man's Hassan Piker. Holy shit. Like, if you're going to talk about the difference between handsome folks on the left and the right, 
Sorry, Paul Joseph Watson. You got beat. You got beat by uh, Brown Fabio. Uh, as uh, Atheism is Unstoppable tries to insult him by calling him, but that's not really an insult. Anyway. And you're a sellout little bitch who needs to repent for your limitless cringe. Repent. Repent, Pierce Morgan. Unlike Paul Joseph Watson, you're cringe. Not Paul Joseph Watson. Paul Joseph Watson amazing in every way. If this bitch was authentic, he would snipe back at me. He's trying to pick a fight so hard. God damn it, Paul Joseph Watson. Sad, sad. I don't give a shit. I will snipe back at someone with zero followers or 10 million followers. This fraud hides behind his block because he's a pussy. And he does not believe what he says. Get out of Paul Joseph Watson, god damn it. You got blocked, dude. It happens. Imagine if I had that response to everybody that blocked me. I would never not be crying because everybody blocks Dusty constantly all the time. You know why? Because they fear me. Because I'm a shark in the water. dun 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 Jaws, bitches! That's what I am. Anyway. It keeps going, folks. It does not end. It never ends. He blocked me because I called him out and owned his lying, unauthentic ass. The fact that this has been translated as me having a complete breakdown is interesting. Yeah, it is interesting because you're literally having a complete breakdown, you dumb piece of shit. It's so terrible that I am trending on Twitter and laughing my head off. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. You're owned. I'm not owned. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Best breakdown ever. Poor Paul Joseph Watson. Sad, sad little man who never leaves his house. Dude. Don't make me post your profile pic. Like, I'm not even trying to be arrogant. I'm just naturally arrogant. I don't have to try. Really not. But obviously, I do okay with women. I have never seen Paul Joseph Watson. Has anybody ever seen Paul Joseph Watson with a woman? Like, I look like this. Like, Paul Joseph Watson looks better than I do. He's younger than I am. He's taller than I am. He's richer than I am. He's more popular than I am. But, like, you guys have seen me with tons of women. I'm sorry. Like, I was only single for, like, uh, 10 months in the last... 25 years and in that 10 months there's like a thousand pictures of me with different women i dated all right what the fuck are you pretending for paul does it watson where are all these women you supposedly date i never see this shit now i don't doubt that you probably could do well with women i just think you're some kind of uh introverted uh, at home loser who doesn't have enough confidence to do anything maybe not maybe he does kill it i don't know never seen it could be maybe I'm pretty good looking, famous in 6'3". Now, he does have some dick-sucking lips, some DSLs. I give you that, sexy-ass Paul Joseph Watson. But he gives off giant gay vibes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just be okay with it. You're a toad! You're a toad, John Elledge, unlike Paul Joseph Watson, who's hot as fuck. The main reason I am trending on Twitter is because everyone is finally acknowledging how handsome I am. I mean, like, you're okay looking, but, like, once again, you're no Hassan Piker, dude. Seriously. Get the fuck over yourself. Build a bridge. Get over it. Paul Joseph Watson. Sad. Just sad. And one more. I have to say that he, he retweeted this, of course, because uh, why wouldn't you retweet this? I have to say PJW is objectively better looking than Pierce. Well, he's, he's younger and thinner, I guess. To say otherwise would be a post-truth statement. Suck that dick. Lick those boots. And then, this is amazing, folks. After the war with Piers Morgan. Fucking Stefan Mjolnuts decides to jump in on this. He decides to dunk on Paul Joseph Watson. The right is eating itself. It's beautiful. Paul Joseph Watson says, I'm significantly more handsome than you. If you're going to try to insult shade me, at least be hot, bitch. And Stefan Mjolnuts says, but still no wife and kids. I <laughs> got him. Now him. Here's a little laughter. <laughs> Hell yeah, awesome. Boom! Sound effects, amazing. So Stanley Mjolnuts is obsessed with people having children, folks. It's his business. And like, you ever notice that Stanley Mjolnuts has never ever told a, a person who wasn't white, not one time ever, they didn't have more kids? You will never see Stanley Mjolnuts reply to a black lady and tell her she needs to have more kids or, or uh, cut her down because she doesn't have kids. But when it's white folks, oh my God, he's so concerned. Why ain't you had kids? Your eggs is drying up. Get out there and stop fucking white people. The white race depends on it. So uh, not saying he's a racist piece of shit, but he's a racist piece of shit. So anyway, love to 
just said. So uh, Paul Joseph Watson snapped back at his buddy, Stefan Mjolnuts, and said, It's a fair point, Stefan, but I have very high standards because of how handsome I am. Way higher standards than you. Oh, snap. He taking shots at your wife, Stefan Mjolnuts. You going to take that? You going to let this motherfucker call your wife ugly? That's some Donald Trump shit right there. And uh, yeah, let him fight. It's just two monkeys fighting. Both incredibly low-life assholes. And you love to see them just kill each other. I am here for this bullshit all goddamn week. And what happened to this, Paul Joseph Watson? Two years ago, you're like, I'm done. I won't be around much longer. 1.5 man views, clickbait, motherfucker. Retire already. With your sexy ass dick sucking lips. Mm, Paul Joseph Watson. This is a great show.